Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 21st through the 27th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now, let's take a look, Pisces. Why am I going so far to the left? I'm like, no, bring it over. All right, the overall energy for the reading. You, your energy, the moon. Good. I like seeing that for signs when they show up with their own energy there. That tells me you're pretty much standing in your power through whatever obstacles come in or whatever ups and downs here. In the recent past, you get the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. All right. A little bit of... um hassle in terms of i see the synergy of you trying to get back to yourself to give to yourself a lot more than you have in the past and i see a little bit of struggle with that uh where at times you might have gotten stuck you might have been like but how do i do it how do i do it more how to because it's like whenever we discover the sense of oh wait a minute i have to give to myself a lot of the things that i'm actually giving or trying to give to other people I gotta do that for myself first, you know? And when you kind of discover that, you're trying to look for all the ways in which you can give to yourself. And sometimes, you know, there's a process to things. Um, and we're anxious, we're not letting things happen in a natural flow, we're kind of like, but I wanna learn this and this and this and everything at once, no. You know, so I feel like that's where um, this energy of the Eight of Swords came into play of, trying to rush through things maybe or not letting things even integrate within you you know um in your current energy you get the death card the six of swords the six of wands you're leaving a situation behind something that is actually making you happy that you're leaving it um could be something that um didn't serve you anymore you know something someone i don't know um in your immediate future you get the two of swords the five of cups the king of cups A little bit of confusion about something i see you a little bit stuck in an energy from the past uh so it could have been something that hurt you something that makes you or keeps you in this nostalgic mode a little um but you seem to be stuck about it not knowing how to handle it not knowing how to navigate it you know um let me clarify let's clarify the moon Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, King of Cups. There you are. There you are, struggling a little bit with this concept of self-abandonment. Now, you may be experiencing something of... I do see you again in your current situation. It shows up as either you leaving a situation or somebody leaving a situation with you here. Uh, whatever the case, I feel like it's bringing up a lot of wounds um, tied up to this abandonment issue. Doesn't matter if you're doing the leaving or they're doing the leaving. Doesn't even matter who's doing what. It brings out some sort of um, abandonment issues here. And it's hard for you to deal with those. It's hard for you to look at those, but you're kind of doing it. There is, I mean, I see you with an open heart and addressing these issues as they show up. Let me clarify the Eight of Swords there in the recent past. For the Eight of Swords, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Magician, the Ten of Wands. Okay.
there's a path here that you were trying to create in a certain direction. And I feel like you'd, um, it wasn't like time constraint on it. It wasn't um, the way this manifestation kind of took off for you might have been like, I need to have a stable job within the next five years, you know, or not even putting that time limit on it, but just wishing for it to be up there and going with the flow of things until it happened kind of things, kind of thing, you know, um, and it doesn't have to be about a job, although I do see a lot of pentacles, so it could have been, um, but something that you wanted to start off and then not putting that time constraint on it and being just going with the flow of things until it happened and I feel like it became pretty hard pretty at some point you might have woken up one day and being like why the hell is this not happening you know I wished for it I'm making it you know I'm creating that direction why the hell is it not coming but I don't see that as necessarily being an obstacle or a problem it just happens at times where you know you're kind of getting like tired <laughs> Um, of it not happening. Let's see here. Let me see the Knight of Pentacles because that gives me another direction here. Oh, okay. There's a soulmate connection here at stake. There's a lot of conflict in it that's shown up there in the past. And I feel like this conflict hasn't been entirely resolved. I do see some progress in it, but I don't see it being resolved completely. So there's a sense of being uh, business unfinished here between the two of you at this point. Um, the progress that's been made in that conflict was because of your work towards yourself. So it feels more like an energetic um, fixing of the situation of the conflict rather than physical participation from both parts. Um, let's see here. Let's clarify the death card in your current situation. The Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Swords. All right. Um, a commitment shows up here, and it looks like a very happy commitment. Uh, I do see a lot of healing here. But I also see a sense of someone leaving, even though it does feel and it does look like it's happy. Someone leaving here. Um, all right, let me see the Six of Swords. Four of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups. Either you are experiencing the loss of this connection, even though it's not happening, uh, you may be experiencing the fear of losing this connection because I see a stubbornness, a, um, a holding on to it. Uh, what fear does is forcing us into hanging on really tight to things because otherwise we're gonna lose them, right? So I kind of see this process happening where the death card is underneath this connection here and then it shows up again with the clenching you know like not letting it go not wanting to let this go refusing to let this go which is telling me a fear of losing this is showing up for someone here and it could be you um let's clarify the six of wands in the current situation And it's clarified by the Six of Wands again, the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. All right. It's kind of like transforming this connection. Somebody, Somebody's looking at ways in which they can <sighs> come up with new energies. And I'm laughing because I'm kind of seeing it as a, as a business for someone. And it's not in the, sen in the sense of, 
All right, so we went with this color for two years. Ah, people got bored. Let's change it into something else. Let's see what happens. Let's change the energy of it. Let's see how people respond to it and kind of thing. So I kind of see somebody applying this to this commitment or marriage or whatever you're dealing with here of let's switch it up a little. Let's spice it up. Let's see what happens. But it's, again, it could be coming from this fear of losing it, you know? Um... And I don't, I mean, I don't see this as a bad energy, this one of let's see if it happens or let's switch it up in a different direction and see what happens. Because it makes you feel good, um, the change here. So I don't see this as necessarily being a bad thing, that this fear is actually kind of giving you a, a boost or a kick in the ass, as I call it, you know, um, could actually turn to your advantage here, spicing things up a little. This could be you, this could be somebody you're dealing with, again, just as a reminder. Let me clarify the Two of Swords in the immediate future. Ah. Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. Um, if somebody is actually deciding to leave this situation, because I see that as a possibility also, because it keeps showing up, and when it keeps showing up, I'm like, I can't really turn my eyes around... Um, away from it anymore the universe is kind of slapping me in the face with it so i gotta tell you guys that it shows up as somebody actually might wanting to detach from this um if that's them you're not gonna let that happen you're gonna be like i'm gonna fight till the end until you stay here and no 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 you can never leave that's coming from your fear that's coming from a lot of things that are hidden here at this moment um, could be the other way around where you're leaving and the other person is, it almost feels like they're in denial about it, you know, or you are, who's doing the leaving, the other person is almost in denial about it, like, no, this is not happening, no, 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 there's a sense of sabotage, there's a sense of deception, there's a sense of you're not going anywhere, kind of thing, and it's a damaging energy to the person who's actually doing it, not to the other person, because they're still gonna go, probably, so... Let me clarify the Five of Cups in the immediate future. Two of Cups, the Chariot, the King of Wands. All right. Somebody just doesn't want to forgive, just doesn't want to let go of something that happened here. And because of that, this energy of love doesn't can't come in. There, there, there keeps on, this conflict keeps going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth in the situation from what I can see. You're going, no, I'm not going. Well, I'm going then. Well, no, you're not going anywhere. Why would you go? Um, let me clarify the King of Cups because I feel like this is you. All right, so you're the one that may be wanting your freedom here, from what I can see. You're deciding to make things right for everybody involved. And it's concluding with your independence here. So... And it shows up at the beginning of the reading also. It's just not quite clear yet at the beginning of the reading. It's hidden by the moon, this energy of you standing up there and being like, okay, we're going through the separation or whatever the case here, but the reading is ending with you being out there, free, independent, getting yourself freed from something. Let me see what the universe has for you. Hangman, Three of Cups, the Strength card, yeah. Yeah, there's no action on your part to bring this together maybe too there's currently i see you kind of standing by not really taking any kind of action the energy of this is floating around which is telling me that the other person might be bringing this energy into your face pretty much um of reconciliation or of let's make this happen let's spend some time together let's do this that and the other i don't see you necessarily participating in this at this time maybe giving it something but not you not yourself in this so that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.